we're looking at a, at a number of, uh, of uh, different avenues from, for example, understanding uh, the different traits across uh, the, the various organizations we work with that uh, help us to provide indicators, not only of fit, but of success, but not just of success, of areas of development. So, for example, organizations have to evolve. You either are going to merge, or you're going to expand, or you're going to go into a different industry segment, because that's the nature of business. Yeah, you want to grow. So, am I set up correctly? And uh, is my workforce ready for that change? Now, what makes the workforce ready is the people, the people's behaviors, the people's, uh, the people's abilities. And can I actually leverage the investment I have made already in the talent I have in my organization to develop those people into being ready for the next step uh, uh, I want to take? And that is really where we're looking at. That is where we're, we're saying we want to move from being just an assessment provider to a people insight organization. And I think that is really goes back to the data as an asset team is you have this information, yeah? When, when you go and uh, you go through um, uh, a recruitment cycle, and you go through and take, you know, some organizations to use our assessments, and uh, there are a number of competitors out there. Um, but that data then is lost. What if, you know, we can take that data and actually develop an onboarding plan for you to understand, you know, these are your strengths and these are your development areas, and actually come up with a development plan uh, that you can follow to be more successful.